All right then, let's look at some physical equilibria. So I have a sealed system. Nothing can enter or escape. And let's choose water as my liquid. And if you put water in a sealed system, some of it will evaporate until you reach equilibrium, where for every water molecule that goes up, one will come down. So the rate of the forward and reverse reaction is the same. So the way I've written it, I'm breaking bonds, actually hydrogen bonds, and so that's an endothermic process. So delta H is plus bond breaking being endothermic. All right, then. So Kc, well, that's products divided by reactants. I'm not sure what the concentration of liquid water means, but uh, we'll just go with it. And so the only thing you need to remember is that the only thing that changes Kc, be it physical or chemical equilibrium, is temperature. The only thing that changes Kc is temperature. Everything else is just a trick. So let's change the temperature. If I was to heat this system, then according to Le Chatelier's principle, I stress it and it will move to oppose the stress, so it will move to the endothermic side. Now that doesn't mean that after a while it won't be an equilibrium again, but I have favoured, I've made more gas, but eventually the rates will be the same again. And so if I've made more gas, then Kc increases. So increasing the temperature increases Kc. So let's look at the contrary example. If I was to cool it down, then it will favour the exothermic side. Stressing it by cooling it, so it favours the exothermic side to oppose the stress. So there'll be less gas now and more water. So when it gets back to equilibrium again, the Kc will have decreased. Remember, the only thing that changes Kc is temperature. 